So today I was tearing up my pedal board, which is usual for me about once a month. I have some shows and some tour dates coming up this summer I want to get ready for. And I just had a thought, you know, I always traditionally put my octave pedals, my harmonizing type, pitch shifting pedals, whatever, at the very beginning of my chain because I had assumed that they needed the best, the cleanest signal to be able to track properly. But I heard from a friend that all the cool kids are putting their drive pedals in front of it. So I'm going to be taking a couple pedals today and we're going to be A-B-ing them and seeing if we like the drive before or after the pitch shifting. So today I own both the Pitchfork and the Nanopog by Electro Harmonics. They're amazing digital pitch shifting pedals. I think the Nanopog is more common than the Pitchfork, although I think the Pitchfork is a better pedal. But anyway, we'll use the Nanopog because that's what most people have. And likewise, the Super Octave OC3 by Boss is a very common pedal. This is an analog alternative. So with analog, you're not gonna be able to track chords very well. It tracks slower, but I think it has a, it has a cooler sound. A lot of people like it. Um, with the digital stuff, you can play chords. This one tracks really well. It tracks much faster than the analog pedal, but the sound isn't as good. So we'll be trying everything through these two options. For drive pedals, we're gonna start out easy. This isn't even a drive pedal, it's a compressor. So no drive at all, but you'll be able to hear if the compressor sounds better before or after the pitch shifting. Then we'll move on to the Morning Glory on the right side, sorry, on your left side here from JHS. It's a very light overdrive, and then we'll switch to a Tube Screamer overdrive style circuit on the right side. Um, then we're getting into a little bit higher gain. This is the Full Tone OCD, another very common pedal, so I'll be using that because it's common. And a lot of people have it. This is a medium gain overdrive, and then finally something with some pretty heavy overdrive. This is the Proco Rat. So I'm going to be playing my 2018 Gibson SG Special. And if you're wondering from my previous video, I haven't gotten it fixed yet. I haven't warrantied it. Um, if you haven't seen that video or you're interested in it, check it out. I'm going to be putting it through my Supro 1622 RT over there. It's a great amp. And you can check out my demo here if you're interested in that. It's being mic'd up with a Sennheiser 609 and also with this MXL V250, which is a new mic for me that I want to test out. And it's running into Logic.
Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. Let me know if you prefer digital versus analog octave effects. And most importantly, leave me a comment and let me know if you preferred the overdrive before or after the octave effects. So that's all we have for today. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below. Hit that bell icon so you can see when I'm uploading next and I'll see you next time.